Hello and good morning. My name is Tamara Hunter. I am the executive director and co-founder of a nonprofit that believes in healing through connections. We are Chemo Buddies for Life, a 501c3 that is based in the United States, yet serving the world. Those people affected by cancer, both the patient and those people that love and support them. I am also was just crowned the very first global next impactor on August the 30th. Why is this important? Well, we're counting down. We have 45 days and counting until we have our big event. It is our second annual Chemo Buddies for Life Give a Thon. It is a 24 hour, possibly longer. We'll see if we go into overtime. Wink, wink. Uh, possibly 36 hours. We have some people showing up and I want to say good morning to them. Good morning, Spencer Rose. Hope you're doing well today out of Chicago. And we have one of our Chemo Buddy for Life ambassadors and our co-producer, one of them out of Canada. Good morning or good afternoon, we should say to you, Carol, Caroline. And thank you. So are you. So are you. So let's get going. I got something really important to talk to you about today. Yesterday we started asking, I asked a couple questions and I'm going to continue the thought. So, hmm, what defines you? If you would like to state it, hashtag also replay, hashtag live, what defines you? Hmm, you know, some say our stories define us. And we are healing through stories. Today, I'm going to talk about a very important story. And um, bear with me, guys, because if, if I need to, I'm ready. Yes, it's an important story. We all have our whys, and we have our whys behind our whys. Um, and we're going to talk about that today. Good morning, Haldine, one of our chemo buddies for life. One of my chemo buddies for life. Good to see you. All right, check, yeah, Chicago checking in. We got Chicago, we got Texas, we've got a lot of uh, different areas. We got Southern California, <laughs> yes, me. All right, so what defines you? What is your story? We all have them. We may sometimes recognize it, we sometimes may not, but we all have them. And I'm gonna talk about one that's very important to me. Again, the why, behind the why of what I am doing for Chemo Buddies for Life. Quickly, again, I am a survivor. I'm one of five people in four generations that have heard the three words no one wants to hear, too many are, you have cancer. I heard them from my grandfather, who was my hero. I heard them from my mother. I heard them from my only sibling, true 100% sibling my brother, and I heard them for one of my four children. It's not easy. I heard them for myself. That was probably the easiest one of them all, believe it or not. I'm going to tell you the why behind the why. The why is my story. I met my original buddy, one of the two original founders of Chemo Buddies for Life, in a chemotherapy room. That's the name, not our stand on what treatment anybody should ever have. Good morning to Joy Cooper Willett, one of our uh, ambassadors and one of our volunteers. She's helping us with healing and wellness. Healing through wellness. Yes, wink, wink. Okay, <clears throat> so let's continue. The why behind my mom, my, the why, my mom. I want to tell you about her. You know, stories, stories matter. This is my mom. This is my mom. Good morning. It's so good to see you again, Joy. Um, this is my mom, Karen. And uh, it was asked of me if I spelled her name correctly just recently because I put her in the story, a story that I did for a chapter. And yes, I spelled it correctly. It was spelled with two A's, K-A-A-R-E-N. Yes, she was unique from the get-go, my mom. Okay, I told you, <laughs> tissues. All right, the why behind my why of chemo buddies for life. Well, <clears throat> health and wellness is very important. And my mom, you know, 
through different times in her life was on top of the game and at other times she wasn't on top of the game yes thank you you know i know you do joy you've helped me so much in regards to my mom i i just love and appreciate all of our volunteers they're so amazing and wonderful well my mom she um Thank you, thank you. She was a she was a pit, she was a spitfire. You think that I'm something? Oh my golly, my mom shined anywhere she went. She just she brought this energy and light, and enthusiasm, even in her darkest days. It was still there, and there were dark days. I'm not gonna lie. Anybody that knows our story knows that. But the why behind the why? My mom was 18 years older than I am. Yes, she was young and she had me. I'm her oldest. And she, um, when I, I I wrote the story about my amazing grandfather, my hero grandfather, and uh, that will be in a book. And he, he was the first one to hear those three words. You have cancer. Thank you, Helene. Thank you. I think so too. She, she, she cleaned up good. <laughs> she didn't just shine. She's beautiful inside and out. Okay, so um, my my grandfather had just passed, and my mother they thought she was dying of a kidney disease, and her, my grandfather was my hero, but he was also hers, her father, and he had passed of cancer, colon cancer, and she was quote unquote dying of a kidney disease, and she went on a trip to go see her godfather she was in an amazing car accident it shattered six of her vertebrae and then from there she was in tremendous pain for the rest of her life and yet she actually that's what shifted her life to go on a better direction it's amazing how sometimes those kind of things happen to us we have to have some of these experiences to find what it is our true life's journey is so continuing the story we're healing through stories all right, so health and wellness was important to her. She was the one that taught me. I didn't know what it was called at the time, but she was the one that taught me how to meditate. She was the one that taught me how to listen to my inner voice. She was the one that taught me how to be fearless and that I could, I could accomplish anything in life. And anybody that knows my story knows that that's a big deal because I was a bubble kid. I was sickly. You know, there was a bunch of issues. So she had a personality, this one. I mean, goodness gracious, look at that. Yes, she just found joy in everything she did. And she was in tremendous pain during this time. Well, she um, had been divorced and she went back to a 25 year year class reunion and saw her boyfriend of from high school and they decided to elope my stepdad Ronnie Ronnie died of cancer too I don't use him in my stats because he is my stepfather yeah he was like my dad and he was my kid's grandfather amazing man died of lung cancer we watched that slow death my mom was she she lived um, in pain, serving many, an incredible story of service. And I'm going to be telling more about it in my big book that I'm going to be doing. She and Ronnie were like kids. They were like teenagers. They had a great time together. And then she ended up getting sick. She ended up with pneumonia right around the time I was diagnosed. And we didn't know at the time that she also had bone marrow cancer called multiple myeloma, one of the most painful of cancers. We didn't know it. She had to go to the hospital because she had a very bad case of pneumonia. While there, she coded. And if anybody doesn't understand what that means, she died for a little bit. They brought her back to life. And at the time, she was barely five feet tall and she weighed barely a hundred pounds. They brought her back to life. They broke her ribs because she had multiple myeloma. We didn't know bone marrow cancer. And she had been fused from 27 surgeries from the very top of, I called it soldered, from the very top of her spine to the very bottom of her spine. She had been rebuilt with Harrington rods, electrodes, 
cages. She had been rebuilt in other areas too because that's hard on your body. So she was in tremendous pain. Story goes that because of her pneumonia and coding and another previous surgery that had created a problem, she had to go into emergency surgery and they gave her a catheter. And in that catheter, somehow, she was in, it was introduced into her urinary tract superbugs three of them that's a bad combination for anybody at home that is going through active chemotherapy of which i was remember i met my very first buddy on my very first day of treatment which was five years ago this coming december the 10th my mother went into the hospital in december it was a very bad cold and flu season, so we actually thought she had pneumonia because of that. No, she had it because of the cancer. She couldn't come home until shortly before she died, but she started withering away. And she tried to have a brave face. And this is one of her brave face pictures. I debated showing it on live, but you guys need to know the why behind the why. She ended up being 69 pounds when we brought her home nearly 11 min months later and she passed away in this room where i film and right before she passed away her brain had gone away but right before she passed away she told me that i had something big i was going to accomplish and she also told me that she was good with her life and that she was grateful for it. And it was okay that she went through so much incredible pain for the last year of her life because of the 34 years that she went on after the car accident and that she was, her kidney disease had somehow miraculously been, been put into remission for 34 years because of the breaking of the spine. Again, a miracle. Some would say a journey. Some would say a story I am telling you. And healing through stories because of my mom. She's the why behind the why of what I am doing with Chemo Buddies for Life. Because she was the one that was crying out in the middle of the night, alone and helpless. She couldn't move because of her back and because of the pain and because of her bricks that had been broken and she didn't have her brain in truth right around that time because of the urinary tract super bugs she started with three she ended up with four because of the way that she was treated when she was not in my home and i couldn't go see her because she had super bugs and i wasn't even allowed out of my room because i was undergoing chemo therapy i would get calls to come and sit with her and i'm like how am i supposed to come and sit with her i didn't even have a voice because of my sores that were on the vocal cords of my body so when i talk about i don't want anybody alone and afraid crying out in the night this is what i see every single time and i see others <laughs> I don't see their faces, I see their shadows. I know that they're out there. This is why we are doing what we are doing. <laughs> we all have stories. We all have stories and we can heal through our stories. And I wanna tell you one other story. I wanna tell you about one of our volunteers because I'm highlighting them. And it's someone that Noel Agape she is one of our volunteers. She's one of our newer ones to me. Um, Noelle is amazing. And she recently, along with others that I'm going to be highlighting in the next few days, have, have joined our health and wellness team and also our calling team. So I would love, love, love for you all to know that we have incredible people supporting our nonprofit and we are making a difference. So Noel Agape, I want to say thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for being there. 
I want to now encourage all of you to go to chemobuddiesforlife.org. If you haven't, sign up, get your celebration journal, and while you're there, we're starting to receive donations, and we're going to start tallying them on a website that we're going to be announcing hopefully this next week. And we're going to then roll out the whole program that we have. We have silver, bronze, silver, and gold, plus a diamond. Spawn, we have diamond sponsors. We have um, funds that we're raising. We have programs that we are supplying. We have buddies, a buddies movement that is taking place here in the United States and throughout the world. Will you join us? Will you donate to us? Will you sponsor us? Will you become a buddy? A buddy, a patient buddy or a support buddy? We have ambassadors and we have a new program. Wink, wink, we're going to be rolling out here for some of our special buddies. I'm excited about it. So as I close right now, I want to just remind you that we're looking for you to join us. Join us by donating. Donate today. Donate often. You can go right now, chemobuddiesforlife.org. And instead of going and getting your your beverage of choice at one of your favorite coffee shops, or maybe your beverage of a short uh, a choice at five o'clock somewhere, um, would you donate that instead? I would appreciate that because the story I shared is a we're healing through them because because of my mom having the experiences that she had at the very end of her life, we are now creating an impact throughout the world. And I would encourage you to join us. And together, we are going to make a difference throughout the world. Thank you for listening to my story and the why my why, behind the why of the nonprofit 501c3 that I am building throughout the world. My name is Tamara Hunter. Thank you for your time. See you tomorrow.